Good morning, my dear students. Today we are going to discuss about gain margin and phase margin. First, we will see what is the need to study gain margin and phase margin. We know that by using board stability criteria, we can determine whether the system is stable or not. According to board stability criteria, if amplitude ratio at the crossover frequency is less than 1, system is stable. If it is greater than 1, system is unstable. For example, if you take uh, one system, for that amplitude value is 0 0.9 or 0 0.99, that means it, it is uh, uh, very close to 1 but less than 1. So then theoretically, according to board stability criteria, system is stable. But practically, even though the system is stable, it is very close to 1. So it will have highly oscillatory behavior, almost just like a unstable behavior it will show. So to know the differentiation or to quantitative behavior about the stability, so this gain margin and phase margin concepts are introduced. So to know the gain margin and phase margin, again we have to use the board stability criteria or board diagrams. Okay, We use the board diagram. So we know that board diagram consists of two plots. First one is log AR versus log omega and bottom plot one or second plot is phi versus log omega. First one is log log plot, second one is semi log plot. So for finding gain margin, first we have to find the crossover frequency. So crossover frequency is the frequency where phase lag is minus 180. So what we have to do is first to from the bottom plot at minus 180 degrees, we have to draw a horizontal line till it touches the curve. So wherever it touches the curve, that frequency we call it as crossover frequency. At this crossover frequency, then we have to draw a vertical line till it touches the top curve. From that point, you have to draw a horizontal line to determine the amplitude ratio at the crossover frequency. So here we got this A. So if you take board stability criteria based on the A value, you can tell system is stable or not. If A is less than 1, system is stable. If it is A is greater than 1, system is unstable. So here gain margin is nothing but the difference between AR equal to 1 and AR value at the crossover frequency. So this line and this line, the difference, we call it as gain margin. So this is gain margin in this example. So in this way, we have to calculate the gain margin. If A is very far from A1, then this difference will be more. That means gain margin will be more. Then we will have more stability. If A is very close to 1, gain margin will be very, very small. Then uh, so stability will be less. Okay. So based on the gain margin, we can calculate the stability. See, mathematically, this gain margin is defined as gain margin equal to 1 by A. A is the amplitude ratio at crossover frequency. We know that for stable st system, according to board stability criteria, amplitude ratio at crossover frequency should be less than 1. So A should be less than 1 for stable system. But whereas gain margin if you take for stable system, gain margin should be greater than 1 because gain margin and amplitude ratio both are inversely proportional to each other. So gain margin of unity or less indicates unstable system. Gain margin greater than 1 indicates stable system. So the significance of this gain margin if you see, it gives a measure of how far the system is from the brink of its instability. That means how far is away from the instability, it will give that information. So higher the gain margin above the value of 1, the more robust the closure loop behavior will be and thus safer the uh, control process. So we should have always high values of gain margin. So typical uh, specification for design are that gain margin should be greater than 1.7. So we have a safety factor of 1.7 times. So we have to use 1.7 as the gain margin. Uh, greater than 1.7 as the gain margin. So if you know the dynamics of the system very well, okay, if you know all the parameters very well, then you can keep gain margin in the range of 1.4 to 1.7. If you are unsure about the dynamics or uh, parameters, 
okay then for safety purposes always it is better to keep gain margin between 1.7 to 3 so this is how we maintain the gain margin values so now come to the phase margin just like a gain margin it is it gives information about how much additional gain is required to destabilize the system similarly phase margin is another safety factor it, which is also used frequently uh, for the design of feedback control system so it is the difference between 180 degrees and the phase lag at frequency for which gain is unity okay it is completely opposite to uh, gain margin concept we'll see with an example here again so here again we have a same diagram okay for finding phase margin first we have to calculate the ar value equal to 1 see here we have ar equal to 1 so at this ar equal to 1 draw a horizontal line still it touches the curve so this curve so at this frequency wherever it is touching one that frequency you have to find the phi value so for that you have to draw the vertical line okay from top to down you have to draw line so wherever it is touching that bottom curve so they draw the horizontal line now the difference between 180 and this line okay gives the phase margin so this is the phase margin if it is more the system is more stable if it is less the system is less stable so this is how we calculate the phase margin value so mathematically phase margin is defined as phase margin equal to 180 minus phi phase angle at ar equal to 1 for stable system this value should be greater than 1 always okay so always we have for uh, safer car system safety purposes uh, this game phase margin value will be maintained as greater than 30 degrees so here negative phase margin indicates unstable system whereas positive phase margin indicates stable system so we have discussed two topics here one is gain margin and another one is phase margin for stable system gain margin should be greater than one similarly phase margin also should be greater than zero okay so it should be positive for safety purposes gain margin greater than 1.7 is used whereas phase margin greater than 30 degrees is used thank you very much